G'day frothers, welcome to the backyard, and today we're going to be taking a look at this thing. So this is the new version of the Petzl Kerr Pulse, the 12mm version, and we're just going to compare that to the old one. So they're obviously pretty similar. Oh, how's that lighting with the sun? I think you can see okay. Uh, so yeah, they're obviously pretty similar. Um, they seem to be the same size in the bolt part. Big differences you can tell straight away are the knob is very strongly textured on the new one, as opposed to kind of just knurled. So the new one is like fully, you know, cut out like a saw blade. I don't know what you call that, but uh, very, very rough. So good for using when you've got gloves on. But the main thing with the new ones is the hanger is not actually fixed on there. It is free to rotate, unlike the old version. So the triggers feel about the same. Although it looks like the knob actually has a bit more travel on the new one. And if I screw that new one all the way up, you can see it's actually got threads down here, which weren't really visible in the old one. So I've got some holes here. These are 12 millimeters done with a Bosch Expert bit. That is a PGM certified bit. So you know it's gonna be true to size. Look at that, beautiful. and inserting the old one. Inserting the new one. Oh yeah, they both feel exactly the same. They both feel exactly the same like that. So the new one, it looks like that's a little taller, so potentially a bit more catch uh, risk for carabiners and things. Yeah, the main difference is that the new one can rotate, the old one can't. So this rotation is of course the same as the old version of the caving anchor, the eight millimeter one. So that one was free to rotate. So I quite liked having the fixed hanger on there, but I can totally see why they removed that for the new version. When you're setting these things up, you don't often get the loading direction right on there. So if you're clipping onto some of these, that one is just gonna orient correctly straight away. Whereas the old one, when you load it, it might actually spin a little bit, which is, you know, going to potentially freak you out. But at the very least, you should go and check that it's still seated correctly. So that means setting it up, hoping you get the angle right. And if you don't, uh, going back, loading, like sort of preloading it a little bit and then setting it. And I would always go back and check it. That meant, you know, it's sort of a two or three step process. Whereas this, one, whereas this one, it's just a one step. You just stick it in and you know it's going to be oriented correctly. So that's a good trade-off from Petzl because they've gone and decided, well, you know what, it's a bit annoying if these get stuck a bit, but you know that is better to have them get stuck and not be retrieved than you basically you know, wrapping off a poorly set anchor or that whole procedural thing of going and you know, having to check it like three times. Okay, this one has been used a fair bit, so it is a little tight to get out. Uh, they don't usually get stuck too much, um, but yeah, one feels fine. And uh, the only thing actually holding the hanger on in the new one is, uh, is that O-ring. So the O-ring sits in that little groove there. So for whatever reason, if you wanted to swap the hanger, you, you could, I guess. But for now, I figured, why don't we pull test uh, one of the old ones so we can just, you know, verify how strong these things are. And this particular one is slightly, I guess, damaged or whatever from a previous test. So I was doing some proof loading tests with it, um, but I didn't have it fully seated. And so it actually pulled the hanger slightly off uh, where it's seated. And you can see it's sort of rough in there it's kind of been knurled and uh it's been pressed on and since this one is kind of retired now may as well pull test it uh this is uh, there you go 55 mpa concrete from i don't know about two years ago now so good solid stuff let's pull her out okay here's the hydraulic got it all set up in there and pumping Oi! <laughs> Look at that! Beautiful!
26 kilonewtons on there. It's a little bit munted, but I reckon it still works. I'm gonna try it in this granite now. Hey, look at that, still fits. God, these things are good. All right, let's see if we can pull it out again. So I'm really glad to see these things are being slightly improved on. They've been around for, I don't know, six, eight years now, and I've been using them for a good six years myself. Now, I don't have much footage of myself using these things in the wild, unfortunately, but you will start to see more of these things on TikTok, like these crazy uh, crazy aircon installer guys in China, swacking a few of those in the wall on some cladding. Hopefully it's solid concrete, who knows? So I'm pretty happy to be using these, uh, but it's, it's, it's like any piece of gear, you know, if you're not sure about it, back it up use two of them use four of them you know you don't you don't just rely on a single piece of gear you know make sure you got your redundancy and all that i use these in a rock climbing situation a lot of rock climbing but like root development so if you're just setting up uh new routes there are no anchors existing i find these awesome for that kind of task firstly because i'm already using 12 millimeter bolts usually so i've already got a 12 millimeter bolt on my drill i know if you're in america that's going to be harder to find but you know i'm already bolting with 12 millimeter stuff already so it integrates into my workflow really easily but it also means that you're not leaving behind you know galvanized or some other cheaper alternative as a temporary anchor basically i just use these as a cam drill a hole, plug it in, and then at the end of the day, as I'm cleaning up the ropes, just pull it out. You're not really supposed to leave these out in the weather. I'm sure people do, but you know, that's not really the point of them. You don't leave them there for months as you're doing the whole project. You just plug them in as you're wrapping down and you need an anchor or a positioner. It means your you know, root development is going to be safer. It's going to be more efficient. Uh, and it's going to be, I guess, more sustainable because there's less um, old rusting metal, you know, cheap crap, temporary anchor kind of bolts left around in walls too. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. So if you want to get your hands on some of them, check out the How Not To store. And if you use the promo code in the description, you get a bit of a discount. You'll help me out. And also you'll help out Ryan and, you know, all the guys running that store up in America too. So anyway, thanks for watching. Scratch you later.